Hi everyone, it's Damon here from Fender at Gear for Music, here to introduce to you an entirely new range of guitar amps from Fender, the mighty bass breakers. Now Fender amps have traditionally been associated with shimmering three-dimensional clean sounds, but what we wanted to do was to create from the ground up a range of much more gnarly uh, kind of sounding, rockier kind of amps. Um, so there are actually four amps in the range. There is the 7 watt, the 007, the 15, the 1830 and the Bass Breaker 45. The two smaller amps, the uh, 7 and the 15, are available as combos and available as head and cab together. So once again, the ethos behind these is to give players that Fender sound, but with definitely with a dirtier, rawer, rockier kind of edge to it. So let's start with the smallest amp in the range, which is the 007. As I said before, available as a combo or as a head and cab, which is what I have set up here. So like I said before, it's like we've taken the classic lineage of Fender amps, but rather going down that the lovely, clean, spanky, three-dimensional thing. We've gone the other way, and we've gone with the dirtier side of Fender, the people who turned the Fender amps up over the years to get that grit coming through. That's very much where the bass breakers come from. So the first one is the 007. This is a very cool amp. It has a single EL84 power tube. So what does that mean? That means you've got one power tube working flat out all the time. So essentially, it's class A. Uh, as you would expect, we have a gain control, a master control, uh, bass, middle and treble, uh, and we also have a built-in treble booster. So if you've ever heard Brian May play or Rory Gallagher, they always just have a treble booster on top of their amp to give it a little bit more girth uh, and a little bit more uh, gain as well. So what I've done is I've set it so that it's, it's pretty much cranked, okay? So the beauty of this is they're very, very responsive. So what I'll do is I'll start with the volume of the guitar on about two. So really responsive, quite crisp. Turn it up a little bit more. Like all Fender amps, really responsive to your playing. That's the great thing about Fenders, especially when they're turned up, you use the volume on your, on your guitar to control how much gain is coming through. So let's go a little bit more. And as I... You can hear it's just starting to drive and just starting to compress. Okay, I've not touched the amp, everything here, all the dynamics. All coming from the amplifier. So I'm gonna crank it right up now. This is pretty much flat out. And as we said, these amps are all about getting great, like classic rock sounds. And I reckon this is one of the best rhythm sounds that I've heard out of a Fender amp for a long time. So there we go, a really complex uh, rhythm sound there, and lead. Um, but if I turn it down... <laughs> so 
So that's the seven. So that's one EL84 tube absolutely working flat out. So as I say, available as a combo, great practice amp for home. This particular setup here, uh, I played a telly through it earlier, tuned to open G. It's got that instant kind of classic Stonesy, ACDC, just breaking up rhythm thing. Uh, and extremely well priced and very, very compact. So if you're looking for something that will go kind of clean, right through to... The 007 is absolutely perfect for that. Now we're going to move on to its slightly bigger brother, which is the 15. So the next amp we're going to look at in the brand new bass breaker range is the 15. Uh, Fender has a very rich history of small wattage amplifiers that people have absolutely loved from the original Tweed Deluxes through to the Blackface Princetons, the Silverface Princetons, right through to the modern day stuff like the Blues Junior. So what we've done with the 15 watt bass breaker is introduce another low wattage amp, sounds great at home, but great on stage as well. But definitely we've gone down the much dirtier route than the classic spanky Fender clean stuff. So this amplifier uses uh, two EL84s um, available as a combo or as a head and cab. The coolest things about this amp, for me certainly, it has an emulated speaker output. Now what that means is you can plug it straight into a mixing desk if you're recording or into a PA when you're playing live and get the actual sound, proper sound of the amp through the house PA system. I've gigged with this uh, with a band with keyboards and drums and everything and it, it sounds absolutely amazing. Um, the other things is it has built in reverb, we have a digital reverb. That's a little bit of reverb. That's a lot of reverb, but built in, great sounding digital reverb. But my favorite feature of this is that it has three gain stages. You can essentially run it as almost like three different amplifiers. So the way I've got it set at the moment is on the low gain setting. So as you probably heard there. <laughs> So a Fender tonality, but darker and warmer. Also does have a bright switch, so if it's too dark for you, just press the bright switch in. So that's great for all your funk stuff. bluesier kind of stuff. So it sounds really great, you know, but I think where the amp starts to really come alive is when we crank it a little bit more, start to get those EL84 tubes really cooking. So let's put it on the medium gain setting uh, and see how that sounds. So straight away. Loads of cut, loads of bite. It's got a really lovely, complex, kind of gnarly mid range. Real classic bluesy sound.
really, really reacts to your playing beautifully as well. You know, it's a great sound. It's definitely a more aggressive, gnarly kind of sound than you would normally associate with a Fender amp, which is exactly what we were going for. So now I'm going to put it onto the high gain setting um, and see how that sounds. I reckon it's going to be pretty shred-tastic. So uh, let's do it. High gain engaged. <laughs> So not what you would expect at all from a Fender amp, but that's kind of the point with the bass breakers. So that's the 15. As I say, it's a great amp. If you've always wanted something that's almost Fendery on the cleans, but that will allow you to get some real serious, lovely, smooth, sustaining high gain sounds as well, at very, very usable home volumes, um, then the bass breaker 15 is perfect for that. So we've seen the 007, which is the smallest, uh, class A single EL84. We've seen its slightly bigger brother, the 15 watt version, av available again as a combo or as a head and cab. Built in digital reverb, three gain stages, emulated speaker outputs. There are two bigger models, which unfortunately we don't have with us today. There is an 1830, which uses four EL84 uh, power tubes. Twin channel, so one channel uses all four of the power tubes, the other one cuts it down to two. So you've got like a classic, almost kind of black face fender thing. And then the second channel, much gnarlier because the two power tubes are really, really cooking. So that's the a bigger combo. Then there's the 45 watt uh, version, which actually does use EL34 power tubes as used on other classic British amplificational devices. Um, so that really is a, you know, a proper full size, uh, big stage gigging amp. Turn it all the way up and again, use the volume on your guitar to clean it up if you need to. So if you've got any more questions or anything that you want to know, of course, pop along to the Gear for Music website where you'll find all the details. And uh, my name is Damon from Fender Guitars and thank you very much for watching. <laughs>